good day everybody in this class we will learn how to calculate the length of the median this is a very important concept and a lot of questions would be asked in grade 7 grade 8 grade 9 and not only that it is imperative to understand that whatever you learn in grade 6 or 7 or 8 uh, that is basically dealing with uh, the median the same concepts would be applied and you would be expected to solve them if you are taking any competitive examinations so having mentioned that let me head on to give you the formula I'm going to show you how to calculate or how to reach the formula to find the length of the median and then I will actually do some uh, questions related to finding the length of the median so this would be a uh, two session each probably of 20 minutes so first let me draw the triangle so you have a triangle that has been drawn here okay and then After this, let me name the sides as A, B, and C. Now you need to know what is the median. Median of a triangle. It is nothing but the line that is drawn from the vertex. It can be from any vertex. You got A, B, C. A line that is drawn from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. If you were to take this side, the midpoint has to be located. So if I take this to be the midpoint, then this is the midpoint. And if you were to connect the vertex from A to B, then that is actually called the median. So this AD is a median. So like that, you can have a median from B a median from C. So there are more than one median for a triangle. Now we are interested in finding the length. What is the length of this median? Okay, so as I mentioned to you, I have explained to you what is the median and then I am now heading on to find the formula that would help us to calculate the length of the median. So having got that, now let me draw an altitude for this triangle okay draw an altitude for triangle ABC now what is an altitude altitude is nothing but a line that is dropped from this vertex perpendicularly to the side BC so that would mean this would make an angle of 90 degrees so if I were to take this as E point E there is a 90 degree here and there is a 90 degree on the other side so we clearly see the triangle AED is right triangle I will be using Pythagoras now from Pythagoras theorem what do we get we can clearly see that a e squared plus e d squared is equal to a d squared this is a formula for Pythagoras now what I wish to do is I would like to take the length of this median as m suffix a so this would mean if I were to take this as sum 1 therefore I can rewrite 1 to be as AE squared I don't know what is AE squared so let me keep that AE squared that is a very important side because this is the side that is actually creating an angle of 90 degrees so just retain that now ED you take ED to be as some x units so this is going to be x squared is equal to I need to get AD squared now I've taken AD to be as MA so this is going to be M suffix A squared 
So therefore, from here, a e squared can be rewritten as m suffix a squared negative x squared. So this is what I've got. Right? Now, having got this, what I wish to do is, I would like to draw your attention to one important aspect of the triangle. Now, this is the vertex B. Anything that is, or the side that is opposite to vertex B is called as side B. And the side that is opposite to the vertex C is called the side C. That's a naming convention, right? It is not imperative that you need to take it as B and C, but it is better you take it in that fashion. And the side that is opposite to the vertex A is called as A units. Now, this entire thing is A units. So, D is the midpoint of BC. So, this is going to be A over 2. Now, as I mentioned to you, D is a midpoint. So, BD, and uh, let me write that down here. BD will be equal to DC, which is equal to A over 2. Now, this would mean my entire BD is equal to A over 2, but I want BE. So, to get BE, what you need to do is, you from A over 2, you subtract this X. So, that is going to be BE. Right? So, this was going to come in handy within a few minutes. Right? So, I have that in mind. Now, let me consider this triangle, right triangle. Let me consider triangle AEC. AEC. So, using Pythagoras, what do we get? So, from Pythagoras we get AE squared plus EC squared is equal to this height, slant height, which is AC squared. Now, AC squared is B squared and the EC. Now, DC is A over 2. EC is this total length. ED is X. So, EC is going to be this plus this. So, that's going to be A over 2 plus X. That's raised to the power of 2. And I've got my AE squared. So, if you remember, I already mentioned to you, we need to actually have AE squared. So, AE squared is very important. Right? It would allow us to form equations. So, having got that, what we need to do now is we need to go to the next side. So, if you can clearly see, AE is forming a side of a right triangle for AED. It's also forming the side of a right triangle for AEC. It's also forming the side of a right triangle of AEB. So, let me just consider that. Consider triangle. In fact, I can draw the triangle like this. Triangle AEB. So, again, using Pythagoras. So, what happens when you use uh, Pythagoras theorem? What happens? This is AE squared plus EB squared is equal to AB squared. Now, AB squared is C squared and EB. EB or BE is our form to be as A over 2 negative x whole squared and you got AE squared as usual. Right? So, I can name them as equation 2, equation 3 and equation 4. So, all of these things have got the AE being featured. So, what I would do is I can actually connect these two and connect these two and then make the substitution. I'm going to connect these two, adding 3 with 4. So, if I were to add this with this, what do I get? A e squared plus A e squared. That's 2 times A e squared. And then I'm adding these two. So, plus A over 2 plus X the whole squared plus a over 2 negative x the whole squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. So, b squared plus c squared. That's it. It's totally done. So, let's expand this. Just regain a e squared as it is. 
You expand this, you get a over 2 all squared plus 2 times a over 2 times x plus x squared. You expand this, you get a over 2 all squared. Negative 2 times a over 2 times x and you get a positive x squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. So this and this gets cancelled. So you got this with this. So let me add up, let me add this with this and you have this with this. So if you had to do that you get 2 times a e squared this is going to be giving me a over 2. I can take a over 2 squared out. If I were to do that, I would get a 2 there because this is added with this. Then I got a 2 times x squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. Right? So, this is going to give me 2 times a e squared plus I can cancel a 2 out. So, I get a squared over 2 positive 2 times x squared is equal to b squared plus c squared this is what I've got now if you can clearly see you see what is a e squared a e squared is m suffix a squared negative x squared so substitute that so this is 2 times right m suffix a squared negative x squared positive a squared over 2 positive 2 times x squared is equal to b squared plus c squared so you expand this when you expand this what do you get you get 2 m suffix a squared negative 2 times x squared positive a squared over 2 positive 2 times x squared is equal to b squared plus c squared now positive 2 times x squared negative 2 times x squared gets cancelled you got this we need this so push everything to the other side so this is 2 times m suffix a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. This this goes to the other side. So this becomes negative a squared over 2. So you take the LCM. This is going to be 2 times of b squared plus c squared negative a squared divided by 2. And we need only this. Right? So bring the 2 down. So this is going to be this is going to be 2 times of b squared plus c squared negative a squared divided by 2 squared. Now this is m suffix a squared but I need only m suffix a. So because of the lack of space I am trying to complete everything over here. So m suffix a is equal to you take the square root. So this is going to be square root of 2 times b squared plus c squared negative a squared I take the square I get an half there so the best way to put the half is like this right so this is the length of the median m suffix a is equal to half times square root of 2 times of b squared plus c squared negative a squared this is the median the length of the median drawn from the vertex a right this is the length of the median drawn from vertex a as I mentioned to you, there can also be a median drawn from the vertex B. There can also be a median drawn from vertex C. So, what you need to do is, you need to subsequently change the values that you see here. You see a value of A, B, C. So, since the vertex is drawn from A, I subtract A squared. If the vertex is drawn from B, you subtract B squared. If the vertex is drawn from C, you subtract C squared. So, that is the end of this particular question. Thank you everybody.